Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. And that way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Natalie. You are listening to The Morning Show. Character is not made in a crisis. Character is only manifested in a crisis. It may be exhibited in the great moments, but it's made in the small ones. Are you doing what's right even in the little things? Because if you don't deal with compromise in the little things, it will lead to bigger things. Proverbs 10, 9 says, He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. So let's don't compromise on the little things today. Let's stand firm because it builds our character. I'm glad you are listening to The Morning Show. There's no other place I'd rather be than right here with you. Cause Jesus wasn't worried A Lazarus funeral passed For he stayed home All the family spoke with doubt But then death began to shout Here comes the rock that rolls away the stone When the rock says roll It's got a boom Those great clothes on the floor Are living through just take back all your flowers in resurrection power. God's about to send the mourners home. Here comes the rock that rolls away the stone. When hope has long been 
been carried to the grave where it's been buried. And all that you can do is sit and moan. In the shadows of your heart, you'll hear your sandals in the dark. Cause here comes the rock that rolls away the stone. Yeah, when the rock says roll, it's gotta move. Those great clothes on the floor are living through. Just take back all your flowers in resurrection power. God's about to send the mourners home. Cause here comes a rock that rolls away the snow. There's no way to stop him. Death is not a friend of his. The tomb will soon be empty. Cause life is who he is Yeah, when the rock says roll It's gotta move, gotta move, gotta move Those great clothes on the floor Are living through Yeah, when the rock says roll It's gotta move Those great clothes on the floor Are living through Just take back all your flowers in resurrection power God's about to send the mourners home Cause here comes the rock that rolls away the stone Yeah, here comes the rock that rolls away the stone written my 
Okay, we have big news today. We have a guest. It's a very special guest. I think you're going to be excited about this because she hasn't been here in a while. My sister, Nicole Smith, is going to be here on the morning show. We anticipate it if she feels like getting out here this morning, and we, we think she will. That's the game plan. We plan on her being here about... 645 this morning. So, hey, we're looking forward to that. That's going to be a that's going to be a big deal. Nicole Nicole's been has had a really really rough few months. Her health has been really really not good. And it, it's just been some hard it's been some hard days over the last few months, but um we're glad that today she feels like coming out and saying a few words to us. These days seem fewer and few, fewer and fewer here lately. So um, we're thankful. We're thankful for the strength God has given her today to come out and say a few words to us. So don't go anywhere. If you're tuned in right now, be sure to stay tuned in to the morning show till at least 645 or so. So you can hear what Nicole has to say. And we're going to try to get Carson the Wade and Clayton Lee Duncan Smith on tomorrow. So anyway, we're trying to bring you what you want. That's what we're, tr- we're trying to deliver. What the people want to hear right here on the morning show radio. We're doing what we can. So it's going to be a great show today. Don't go anywhere. It's the halls of heaven with glorious words of truth it rumbles like a thunder it's powerful and sweet and it echoes on resounding with perfect harmony it's the anthem of the ages giving honor to the king a song of adoration all the angels sing It is the printed voice of Southern Gospel 
music. You can go to singingnews.com to sign up, renew, or to give a gift as a subscription to the Singing News. It's a way to keep up with everything that's happening in the industry and to be the first to know. They're on top of everything at the Singing News. Everything goes through the Singing News. So if you want to be up on what's going on in the industry, it's a sure way to know is through the Singing News magazine. And when you subscribe to the Singing News, you get to vote for all of the Singing News fan awards. And that's just a whole lot of fun, right? Right now, you can subscribe digitally for $15 a year or for the printed magazine. It's $32.23 a year. Singingnews.com. Check it out today. Someday we'll leave this old world for a land so fair. Our Lord is coming back to take us over there. Where we can walk on holy hills close by the crystal sea. And glory in His presence for eternity. We'll be moving to a city. For us somewhere beyond the blue We'll be shouting hallelujah In joyful celebration when our journey here is through With friends and loved ones there to share a bright eternal home We'll spend the endless ages singing praises round a throne We'll be moving to a city Say that heaven is just a fantasy And that the here and now is all there'll ever be But Jesus died that we might live with him forevermore And we can't wait to find out what he has in store We'll be moving to a city Somewhere beyond the blue We'll be shouting Hallelujah In joyful celebration When our journey here is through With friends and loved ones there To share a bright eternal home We'll spend the endless ages Singing praises round His throne We'll be moving to a city Everyone, this is Randy, your friendly morning show announcer, taking just a second to remind you that you can find the morning show on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons, and it pops right up. Once there, you can listen to all of the past shows, episodes, interviews that you might have missed. So go to YouTube, search The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons, and listen to the morning show as long as your little heart desires. 
Hey, thanks again for supporting Natalie and the morning show. And as always, may the Lord richly bless you. Music, ministry, and more. It's the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to the morning show. And now with your patriotic point of view, here's Larry Gresset. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is the trophy awarded each year to the winning team of the National Football League's championship game, the Super Bowl. The trophy is named in honor of NFL coach Vince Lombardi, who led the Green Bay Packers to victories in the first two Super Bowl games. During lunch with NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle in 1966, Tiffany and Company Vice President Oscar Reidner made a sketch on a cocktail napkin of what would become the Vince Lombardi Trophy a football in kicking position on three-sided concave stand. The original trophy was produced by Tiffany and Company in Newark, New Jersey. The first trophy inscribed with the words World Professional Football Championship was awarded to the Green Bay Packers on January 15, 1967 after they defeated the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl I. Following the death of Vince Lombardi in September of 1970, the trophy was officially renamed in his memory. It was presented for the first time as the Vince Lombardi Trophy to the Baltimore Colts after their victory over the Dallas Cowboys in Super Bowl V. Unlike trophies such as the Stanley Cup and the Grey Cup, a new Vince Lombardi Trophy is cast every year and the winning team maintains permanent possession of it. Since Super Bowl XLV, the Vince Lombardi Trophy has been prominently featured and the Super Bowl logo design. I'm Larry Gressett with your patriotic point of view. The patriotic point of view was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes that family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 34 years. Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. Together we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the very best mix of Southern Gospel music along with your patriotic point of view here on The Morning Show. I made you in Noah with nowhere to set sail. You're picking up a hammer and you drive another nail. Feeling worn out and weary, just waiting for the rain to keep doing that thing, doing that thing, doing that thing. Maybe you're like David, a little bored with your life. You're dreaming of kingdoms, giants, and battles yet to fight. Right now you're stuck, staring at the sheep out on the plain, but keep doing that thing, doing that thing, doing that thing. Right in front of you Keep doing that thing That he's calling you to do Even if it don't make sense Don't make sense to you Keep doing that thing Doing that thing Doing that thing Maybe you're the children Wandering in the wilderness You're looking for the promised land But you just can't see it yet I'm trusting in him and where's it while you wait? Keep doing that thing, doing that thing, doing that thing. I keep doing that thing that's right in front of you. Keep doing that thing that he's calling you to do. Even if it don't make sense, don't make sense to you. Keep doing that thing, doing that thing, doing that thing.
speaking the truth. I keep praying those prayers, whatever he's given you to do. Keep changing those diapers, punching that clock, showing up every day. Okay, it is not National Carnation Day today. It's not. And and I thought about making making something up. But the truth is, it's not any National Flower Day today. I know because I looked. It's not. I can't make anything out of that. But on the morning show in Central Mississippi, every day is Hometown Roots Day. The good folks at Hometown Roots, they make this show possible every single day. We're celebrating them Every day we're on the air, we're going to celebrate the folks at Hometown Roots. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. We need to get those orders in. They've got so many things at stock. You need to go out to the Facebook page. You can look up Hometown Roots Florist and Boutique. You can see so many things. If you're in the area, it's best just to go by there because I could never cover it all. I mean, they have anything you can imagine for Valentine's Day, but they just have the store completely stocked right now. I mean, all new stuff. The Christmas, the winter, it's going out. We're bringing in new things at Hometown Roots. Now's the time to go. Head over there. Check out the Facebook page. You know you can place an order online. We just need you to support the good folks, whether it's National Carnation Day or not. It is National Hometown Roots Day, officially on the morning show. When you go, tell them we sent you. From new album out, it's entitled Songs from the Front Pew. Now, this is one of those retro albums. That seems to be the style nowadays, doesn't it? Everybody's everybody's going back. They want to sound like they made the album back in the 50s or 60s. And it's pretty cool. It really is. This album does go back to the feel of standing around one microphone and singing at the Grand Ole Opry on the stage back 20 or 30, 40 years ago. That's the feel of the album. That's what he was going for. And he, and, and he hit that. Ben Isaacs is the producer of this. And uh, I say Jonathan did exactly what he was trying to do so i've been enjoying listening to it we're going to try to get jonathan on the show see if he'll come talk about this brand new album he said he would last time i saw him but i've got to reach back out here's one called i saw the light right after this nicole will be here i saw the light i saw the light no more darkness no more night now i'm so happy no sorrow
My name is Natalie. You are listening to The Morning Show. We left yesterday with a question I threw out to you. I said, do you want to see the Smith boys on The Morning Show? Do you want to hear what's going on from Clayton and Carson? Many of you said yes, but I also got some feedback that you wanted to hear from Nicole. That's the truth. If I've ever told it, I got several text messages, people asking about Nicole. They hadn't heard from Nicole. Where is Nicole? Well, we've got a big treat for you today. Nicole's had a rough couple of months, but but health has been a little shaky, to say the least. But Nicole is back with us today. What, what, What a big deal this is. Nicole Smith, right here on The Morning Show. Welcome back, Nicole. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, everybody. I'm glad to be back with you. I'm glad to... I uh, had the opportunity and the strength to come out here today and just spend a few minutes with you. Yeah, I told Nicole we didn't have to make this a long, drawn-out thing. This may just be short and sweet. Nicole hadn't had a lot of strength uh, lately. Some days some days we do all right, and then some days are, some days have been pretty, pretty tough. Nicole, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to give a word of testimony if you feel like doing that. Well, I would love to do that. I'm honored to do that. I thank the Lord for every chance and opportunity that he gives me to speak uh, on behalf of what he's done for me. And uh, I have had some hard days, some days that I I wish I could have rearranged and made them a little different, but those kind of choices aren't left up to me. But I'm glad that I can tell you, even in hard days, our Lord's been faithful. He's been good to me, and he's been near me, and I thank him for that. You know, David wrote about that in Psalms. He said, uh, I put my trust in you, and you haven't disappointed me, and the Lord's never disappointed me. He's he's heard my cries, and he's not hidden his face from me, as David said. He's been near, and I thank him for that. Uh, I think that's one of the greatest promises that we can have in the days ahead. None of us know what tomorrow holds. We look around at the world and the shape she's in, and we are bombarded with catastrophic news every morning uh, from our national news, from world news, local news. And it seems like we are entering into a world of total chaos. And our own lives can sometimes feel like total chaos. And I've had some days that I felt like that in my own personal life. But I'm glad I can tell you today that he's faithful. And he's still God. And he's still on the throne. And he's still in charge. And things will happen the way he says so. And he will have the final say so, whether it be in my own life, with my own battles, with my health, or it be on a worldwide, national level, wherever you want to go. He's still God. And he has the final say so. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. Well, he's good. That's all we can say when life is really, really bad. Sometimes the Lord is just good. And he's faithful. And he's been faithful for you. We've seen that. Oh, he's so good. And yes, he's faithful. And I think I think David, I, I mentioned him several times in, in that last little segment. I was talking about just some quotes from Psalms that he wrote. But I think David understood the fact that sometimes life's just crazy and sometimes life's unsure. And and he wrote another scripture. And and it's my thought that I was listening to today and reading and thinking about where he said, wait for the Lord, be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, just wait on the Lord. I'm in a position, Natalie, I'm just waiting on the Lord. Yeah. That's all we can do. Uh, when you've done all you know to do to stand, then you just stand and you wait on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, and if we're really honest, I don't think I'm the only person out there today that has to confess and admit I'm just waiting on the Lord. That's all any of us can do. So true. Uh, our battles are different. It is Absolutely. different for everybody. But uh, he said he would be there. And like you said, some days all you can do is just... Have the promise and the assurance that he's on the way. Right? He's, he's on, the, on way. the way. He's on the way. I look at so many saints and I talk to different people and I hear their stories. And it's just like you said, people are struggling in different ways. Uh, the intensity may be the same, but the different warfares that are coming at saints are, are different. 
Uh, but the good news is, is, is not much longer. Hold the line. Hold the line. Uh, the Lord's coming back. Yeah, the primitive quartet used to sing a song said, just hold on a little longer. Help is on the way. Help's it's coming. on the way. It's coming. Help is on the way. But somewhere in my heart, I'm believing that help is literally on the way. Listen, we, we're close to seeing him face to face. Uh, now we look through a glass dimly. Oh, but the day's coming. It's going to be face for face. And I, it's closer than it's ever been. Uh, hold on. Wait. Uh, don't lose heart. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Honey, just wait. Wait on the Lord. I believe it's going to be worth the while. It's going to be worth the wait, isn't it, Nicole? It's going to be worth the wait. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, when I get there, y'all just get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to run a while. Uh, I think it's going to be so worth the wait. Uh, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard all that lays in store. And it'll take a new body to even be able to, to, he said that we'd give us a new body when we got to heaven. Uh, it would give us brand new. These bodies we've got now cannot even stay intact under the presence of such glory. He'll have to give us new ones. They can't handle it. You're right. We, we, have, we really can't fathom what it's going to be like and, and what's in store. But it's going to be good. And Nicole, it reminds me of this song uh, that Bill Gaither sings their their new one it says make the morning worth the midnight because sometimes sometimes the midnight's dark 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 but the song says the morning came so quickly mm. it even caught the sun by surprise that's the way it's gonna happen it's gonna happen just like that play just popped in to give us some encouragement that's what she's here to do give a word of testimony because we haven't heard from her in a while she's been a little down and out under the weather <laughs> well a little shaky to say the least we're kind of making it sound <laughs> sound pretty easy there but it's, it's been to, a tough try to put a bow on it and make it sound yeah. good that's what that's what we're going to do and today we're not going to focus on on the on the hard times no. today we're going to be thankful Yes. That you were able to come out here yes. to the studio and to yes. say uh, say good morning to our friends and to all these good folks that are listening, and um, just give a just to give a word of encouragement, Nicole. We're glad you were able to come. I'm glad I'm able to come. I don't know where you're at today. I don't know what you're facing, but He's still God. He's still God. Hold your head up. Your redemption draweth nigh. Take courage in your heart and be strong. Wait on the Lord, because you don't have very long to wait all right there she is nicole smith back on the morning show that's good stuff right there that's good stuff we'll have her back soon i upon a mountain from where he ascended an angel of the lord declared that it would be he said In like manner he's coming back for you and me. I believe he's coming back like he said. I believe that a trumpet's gonna sound so loud. One day it'll wake the dead. In the twinkling. Is nearing. We'll soon see his appearing. Well, this could be the hour, and this could be the day when the saints from every nation gonna lose gravitation in the middle.
It's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're standing at the gate. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, when you're gone, it's worse than jail. Cause mama and daddy can't go your bell. It's now or never or forever in hell. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, it's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're standing at the gate. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, just let Jesus take control and heal your heart and save your soul. Cause in hell there's no parole. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, it's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're standing at the gate. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, you've had your chance. You know you could have. You heard the word. You know you should have. There'll come a day when you wish you would have. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, it's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're standing at the gate. It's time to get right with the Lord. Well, it's too late when you're at the gate, brother. It's too late when you're at the gate. It's too late when you're standing at the gate. It's time to get right with the Lord. you're listening this morning to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. You're listening to The Morning Show, and here's your pastor's perspective brought to you today by Brother Doug Payne from Hanger Church, Brandon, Mississippi. Ephesians 5, verse 15 and 16. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Have you ever been sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's office and picked up one of those travel magazines? You know the ones with those amazing pictures of all those exotic places. Did you envision yourself walking along the beach on some secluded Caribbean island or watching the sun go down behind a majestic mountain range? That's the purpose of those pictures, to try and get you to see yourself actually there in hopes that you might be persuaded to board a ship or an airplane and go there. They want you to do whatever it takes to become a part of the picture. That is why God shares with us his vision for our lives, so that we might see ourselves actually walking in it and living in it. If we do, then we might be persuaded to do whatever it takes to become a permanent part of the picture. Is your ship about to set sail? Are you on it? God has given us a great opportunity. We need to make the most of it, for the days are evil. This is Doug Payne with your pastor's perspective. The pastor's perspective was brought to you by Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. Salem is my home church, and I'm thrilled that they've partnered with The Morning Show to help us bring you not only the best music in the world, but encouragement and words of life straight from God's Word. For the Larry Duncan and the entire congregation at Salem, invite you to come and visit when you get the chance. We're located just a few miles off of I-20 coming through mid-Mississippi. So if you live in our area or if you're ever traveling through the area on a Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Wednesday night, will you stop off the lake exit and visit with us? Thank you to Salem Baptist Church for bringing you your pastor's perspective by Austin and Ethan Wisnett called Glorious Tomorrow. Let me know what you think. It's a beautiful morning, beginning of the night, death of the darkness, the dawning of new light. We open our eyes to the wonder of it all. We see the sunrise that never would fall. Highway, we'll leave behind the sorrow when 
Love makes all things new and it's out there waiting, waiting for you. Yesterday we began a mini-series on the provisions of God, and why we can trust the provisions of God. Yesterday we covered the first three reasons that we have. We know He will provide because He is our caring Father. We know He will provide because He loves to give gifts. And we know He will provide because He cares for His creation. Today we'll cover three more. God will provide because he told us to ask. In Matthew chapter six, he says, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Jesus wouldn't tell us to ask if the Father didn't intend to answer the request. If he says ask, it's because God intends to answer. Number two, for today, we can be assured of God's provision because he has already promised blessings. Psalms 31, 19 says, How great is your goodness that you have stored up for those who fear you and accomplished in the sight of everyone for those who take refuge in you. Our Father doesn't just have a tiny portion of goodness to give us. He has stored up abundant goodness for those who fear Him and those who run to Him. So we can be confident God will provide for us if we run to Him and we ask Him. And notice that God's goodness is abundant. He doesn't give sparingly or cheaply. Rather, He has abundant goodness stored up for you. Number three for today, we can be assured of God's provisions because He has a compassionate heart. Listen in Mark 8, 1 through 3. In those days, there was again a large crowd, and they had nothing to eat. He called the disciples and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd, because they've already stayed with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way. And some of them have come a long distance. Jesus said he had compassion on the multitude who had followed him for the past three days because they hadn't had anything to eat. And he was concerned about sending them away hungry. Our Father cares about our needs. He cares about our well-being. So Jesus, continuing to show his Father's heart, multiplied the loaves and the fishes to feed the crowd. And they hadn't even asked him to do it. So think how much more he will do when we ask. Come back tomorrow. We'll cover three more reasons why we can always be assured of God's provisions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Savior gently pleading Now I'm an errant child of God I truly know All the way home His precious hand is daily leading It's a grand and a glorious feeling As I go, as I go It's a grand and glorious feeling and a glorious feeling, grand and glorious feeling Just to be, just to be a, child a child of God How His love comes over me stealing Love comes on me stealing Making my pathway brighter Grow as on I plod Every day I tell the old story I tell the old story I will tell the old story Of his love his love I'll ever sing What a grand and glorious feeling And a glorious feeling glorious feeling Just to be walking And to be talking With my king My lord and king Happy am I along the way to life eternal. Jesus has saved and washed my soul as white as snow. Some of these days I'll reach my wondrous home supernal. It's a grand and a glorious feeling as I go, as I go. It's a grand and glorious feeling, and a glorious feeling, grand and glorious feeling. Just to be, just to be a child of God. Child of God. How His love, love comes over me, stealing. Comes over me, stealing. Love comes over me, stealing. Making my pathway brighter, grow as on I plod. Every day I tell the old story. I tell the old story. I will tell the old story of His love. love his love I'll ever ever sing. What a grand and glorious. Feeling, glorious feeling, just to be walking and to be talking with my king. Every day I tell you all. 
story. I'll tell the old story. I'll tell the old story of his love. His love I'll ever sing. Ever sing. What a grand, grand and glorious feeling. Grand and glorious feeling. Grand and glorious feeling. Just to be walking and to be talking with my king, my lord and king. Here on the morning show, we keep up with the Power 50 put out by the Singing News. That's the top 50 songs in the nation for the week. Well, according to the Singing News magazine. And here we have a countdown by Greg Goodman. Here's the top five. Number five. Until we fly away. Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. Well, Unstoppable God, the Kingsman. The Unstoppable God. Number three. Here comes Jesus. Jeff and Sherry Easter with Mo Pitney. Here comes Jesus, making my blind eyes see. Number two. Sheaves, Karen Peck in New River. And we shall come rejoicing. One. I think I'll just go on. Listening to the hymns of the church. Every Sunday, I love listening to the choir singing these songs. I sing along every chance I got. I wrote my song, Mean Something to Me, to honor some of my favorite hymns. We all love a good new song, but there's something special about these old hymns that just can't be replaced. Here it is, Mean Something to Me. I hope you like it. I can still hear that old choir singing Oh, how sweet the blessing sound It gives me peace like a river For the promised land I'm bound And I'm singing Oh, how
You're listening to The Morning Show. And now it's time for a few moments of laughter with one of the greats when it comes to gospel humor from Yazoo City, Mississippi. Here is the late Jerry Clower. My second album. I got a call from Universal City. Said, uh, Jerry, I understand you have some good bird hunting in Mississippi. I said, what kind of bird hunting? He said, quail. I said, some of the finest in the world. You want to go? I would love to go. I got my schedule out. I said, you meet me in Jackson, Mississippi, less Friday. And I give him several dates where this man could meet me in Jackson, Mississippi and go quail hunting with me. Well, I'm standing there waiting on him the morning he's supposed to come. And he gets off the airplane looking like little Lord Fauntleroy. He's got seven aides with him. I said, hey, man, you can send them aides back to California. We can pick up our own birds. <laughs> so we got in my pickup truck and drove to Route 4, Liberty, Mississippi, to Uncle Versi Ledbetter's house. I told my Hollywood friend, wait in the truck. I went in to see Uncle Versi to tell him we're going to hunt on his place, and I was going to use one of his bird dogs. Uncle Versi, how you feeling? He said, Jerry, I'm in low cotton. He said, my old mule, Della. He said, I made about 20 good crops with her. She's sick. Veterinarian is out here this morning and says she's suffering. <laughs> Jerry, I don't want her to suffer. I wouldn't let the veterinarian put her out of her misery this morning. But I want you to shoot her for me. <laughs> While you up there bird hunting now, over there on that section of land, you're going to see old Della, and you just shoot her. Put her out of her misery. I don't want her suffering. I said, Uncle Percy, I don't want to shoot that mule. They shoot them racehorses at Louisville when they break a leg, humane. I said, all right. So I'm starting back to the truck, and I got to thinking. <laughs> I'm going to have me some fun out of this Hollywood dude. I jumped up in the cab of that truck and I started beating the dash. I said, that old man said I couldn't hunt on his place. Good as I've been to him. I've been knowing him all my life. <laughs> Fought a war with his youngins. He said, uh-uh, you get that Hollywood dude with that goatee off of my place. <laughs> oh, and I scratched off, throwed rocks all up on the side of the barn. <laughs> and I get near back to the main road and there's old Della, that blind mule eating grass. I slam on brakes. I said, uh huh. That old man be ugly to me. I'll just kill his mule. And I jumped out of that truck and I said, boom, boom. And down old Della went graveyard dead. About that time, I heard three shots up at the truck. Boom, boom, boom. I said, fella, what in the world are you doing? He said, Jerry, that old man upset you so bad, I killed three of his cows.
He's a mighty good friend. 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 Jesus, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. I'm in trouble. He's there on the double. He's a mighty good friend. I fall down. He's a mighty good friend. Helps me come around. He's a mighty good friend. He'll go with me to my journey's end. Jesus Christ, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. My sin and my sickness. For my good, he's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. Jesus, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. I'm in trouble. He's a mighty good friend. He's there on the double. He's a mighty good friend. When I fall down, he's a mighty good friend. Helps me come around. He's a mighty good friend. He'll go with me to my journey's end. Jesus Christ. My Lord is a mighty good friend Today and tomorrow Next week, next month, next year Throughout the endless ages My Savior will be near In fair and stormy weather No matter where I go We'll always be together He's the dearest friend I know He's a mighty good friend He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. Okay, somebody out there needs to hear this besides me because this is probably more for me than anybody else. But here's a quote from Toby Mack that I found extremely helpful. Here's what he had to say. If you feel like giving up because you're not seeing results, remember this. The last thing to grow on a fruit tree is the fruit. (laughs) All right, maybe we just need to be patient and wait, huh? That's the hard part. That is the hard part. Are you broken from the battle and worn out from the fire? Are you tempted to just lay your armor down? Hear the captain of this army declaring words of life. God's voice is calling out to you right now.
Hey, I haven't told you, but we've got the inspirations coming back to Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. They were such a hit. It was so good. We have booked them back for next year. That's November. It's a good ways away, but I wanted to tell you so we can be looking forward to it. Here they are. Angels are looking o'er the rims of glory, watching over you and me. But Jesus is lighting the pathway that you and I might see just a few more days to travel in he'll roll the clouds away and i'll see jesus see my lord and hear him say enter in enter in my child well done my child well done you've kept the faith you've kept the faith your race is run your race is run the golden street the golden street they are now yours they Shining but climbing up higher to the cross. Though at times it seems I'm failing, Christ never fails to remind me of the great homecoming where we'll sing in the jubilee. Enter in, enter in. Oh, my child, well done. My child, well done. You've kept the faith. You've kept the faith. Your race is run. Your race is run.
say a word about what we do here on the morning show radio on Fridays. Fridays, we bring you the gospel greats with Rodney Balcom. This is not just any syndicated show that we decided to bring you. We only bring you the best here on the morning show radio. If it's not the best, we don't play it. And Rodney Balcom is the top of the food chain. I guarantee you when it comes to Southern gospel music, he is the best. The gospel greats program is the best. And we are now their latest and newest affiliate, the Morning Show Radio. How about that? We're going to be bringing you that every Friday morning. And we could not do that on our own. That is brought to you by Forrest Ford and Forrest Jeep Chrysler Dodge Ram in Forrest, Mississippi. Tom Cooper and our friends at Forrest Ford. Well, they're a great group of people. They're supporting us. They're supporting the gospel greats. And we want to encourage you, if you need a vehicle, new or used, Forest Ford is the place you need to go. If you've got a vehicle right now that needs servicing or maintenance, well, they can do that too. They're the absolute best at it. They're the best in our area. And we're asking you to support Forest Ford, Forest Jeep Chrysler Dodge Ram, right on Highway 35 in Forest, Mississippi, because they're helping us to bring you the gospel greats, making such an effort to come be a part of the show. We enjoyed that. We were encouraged by what she had to say. We're going to try to get the boys out here in the morning. We'll see how it looks. Enjoy your day. I'll catch you soon. Down at the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name. saved from sin Jesus so sweetly abides within there at the cross where he took me in glory to Listening to the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. We're glad you joined us. We want to invite you back tomorrow when once again you'll hear some of the very best in gospel music and some of the finest in Christian entertainment. Will you join us tomorrow? Is it a date? We'll look for you then. God bless and goodbye, everybody. Hey, friend, it's great to have you tuned into the morning show today. Here on the morning show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of the morning show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. 
Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing, and then keep singing and sing it some more. For we are God's people. That's just what God's people do. Well, we sing. Let your joy explode and let music fill the air. Can you sing when there's nothing else to do? Sing when something deep inside of you tells you that life is still a one. You just go back to heaven and sing. You said sing from a laughing heart. Just sing when the night is dark. Just sing. Let your joy explode and let music fill Sent on flashy wings to fill the sky with song, put music in the brook and crashing seas. The wind blew through the threads of grass like fingers through the streams of golden harps and made the meadows sing. Then he said, Sing from a laughing heart to sing when the night is dark, you sing, let your joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all. Sundays, they're bringing in folding chairs. I see a crowd by the river, every color, every age. They're going down centers and coming up saints. I see the
My name is Natalie. You are listening to The Morning Show. Character is not made in a crisis. Character is only manifested in a crisis. It may be exhibited in the great moments, but it's made in the small ones. Are you doing what's right even in the little things? Because if you don't deal with compromise in the little things, it will lead to bigger things. Proverbs 10, 9 says, He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. So let's don't compromise on the little things today. Let's stand firm because it builds our character. I'm glad you're listening to The Morning Show. There's no other place I'd rather be than right here with you. Hurried because Jesus wasn't worried. Lazarus' funeral passed while he stayed home. All the family spoke with doubt, but then death began to shout. Here comes the rock that rolls away the stone. When the rock says roll, it's got a boom. Those great clothes on the floor are living through. Just take back all your flowers in resurrection power. God's about to send the mourners home. Here comes the rock that rolls away the stone. Oh, when hope has long been carried to the grave where it's been buried, and all that you can do is sit and moan. In the shadows of your heart, you'll hear sandals in the dark. Cause here comes the rock that rolls away the stone. Yeah, when the rock says roll, it's got to move. Those great clothes on the floor are living through. Just take back all your flowers in resurrection power. God's about to send the mourners home Cause here comes a rock that rolls away the stone There's no way to stop him Death is not a friend of his 
the two will soon be empty Cause life is who he is Yeah, when the rock says roll It's gotta move, gotta move, gotta move Those great clothes on the floor Are lived in proof Yeah, when the rock says roll It's gotta move Those great clothes